Here's a problem dealing with a stream of payments. The difference between these type of interest rate problems and just regular interest rate problems is most regular interest rate problems, you're starting with some money at the beginning and that's all you're putting into it. But quite often, you're going to continue to add more money. So suppose we have money that we're going to deposit daily and it comes out to about $12,000 a year. So we're continually adding money into this. Well, if we have this account that pays 10% interest, compounded continuously, we want to figure out what's our total amount at the end of five years. And remember, we, we've got it going in at a certain rate. So if we know the rate and we want to find the total amount, well, we're going to have to take an integral. Okay, now there's a special formula for this. We're going to take the integral over these five years, so from zero to five, of our formula, so 12,000, okay, that's our principal, compounded continuously, so E to the point 0.1, that's our interest rate, but now we're doing this as time decreases, so it starts at 5 and we're going down to 0. Uh, at, at the beginning T is 0, so 5 minus 0 is 5, at the end, t is 5, so 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay, So this is the integral we're going to find. So let's calculate that integral. We can do most of this by hand. All right, the 12,000 is a constant, so we bring that out to the front. We have an exponential part, so that stays the same. e to the point 0.1 times 5 minus t. But now that we're integrating by the chain rule, we need to divide by this negative 0.1. Okay. And then we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 5. Okay. So 12,000 divided by negative 0.1 would be negative 120,000. So we have negative 120,000. E, to the 0.1. 5 minus 5, okay, minus a negative, so that's actually going to make the second term a plus, because we, we always subtract, but then we had a negative here. All right, 12,000 divided by 0 0.1 is still 120,000. E to the 0.1, this time 5 minus 0. So if we simplify these down, let's see, 5 minus 5, that's 0. So we really just have e to the power 0, which is a 1. So negative 120,000 times 1, that's negative 120,000. Okay, plus, okay, 5 minus 0 is 5, times 0 0.1 is 0 0.5. So we put 120,000 e to the 0 0.5 into our calculator. And we come up with $197,846.55. And so if we combine those two together, we end up with a balance at the end of the five years of $77,846.55.